Hello, I'm Alex Tarrant from interest.co.nz and welcome to a special economic weather report brought to you in association with ASB. Now today we got migration figures from the Statistics Department and we're going to have a look here to net migration of New Zealanders to Australia. So that's dropped off in recent months and for the last three months has sat around 700, net 750 departures to Australia uh, for October, September and August. Now that is down from a peak of over 4,000 in January 2008 and it was still above 4,000 in January 2009. The annual figures have also shown the same trend. They peaked at 35,000, over 35,000 in the year to December 2008. They're now down to just over 21,000 net departures to Australia in the year to October 2009. Now why is this happening? Well, it's a case of less departures. Departures in the October month 2009 were half of what they were in October 2008. And arrivals are only up slightly. Now, will this continue to happen? Will the trend keep going? Well, January and December are usually big months for the departures of New Zealand citizens to Australia. And we have to remember that Australia, the lucky country, seems to have thwarted off the worst of the global recession and is looking at recovering very well. So we'll have to wait for the next few months to see if New Zealand's prospects can slightly catch up to those in Australia, or else it may be a New Year's decision for many to, to go to Australia, which they've been putting off over this year. I'm Alex Tarrant. That was a special economic weather report brought to you in association with ASB.